Mama Set Tool Bag number five is now in beta release. Uh, so it's an open beta. Um, and this is a really cool release. Now Marmoset really is one of my favorite softwares. It's a software that knows what it is, it knows what it does, and um, it does it well. So for those who don't know, Marmoset is a really great software for baking uh, textures. It's a renderer, it's a texturer, um, and basically it's a bit of a competitive to things like uh, rendering um, in Eevee and Cycles and Blender and other render engines. It's a competitive substance of painter because it has texturing and painting. Um, rendering it is probably, in my opinion, the best baker for baking normal maps that's out there. And it's just got even better. It's just like completely insane now with the interactive baking. So you can bake things on the fly in real time. And it keeps updating the... Uh, um, the texture textures and what this is really good is for troubleshooting like these grumpy little areas um, you know going back and forth between blender and stuff you can actually see where they are on the fly go and fix your model save it again and hopefully uh, your bake will update without having to press the button and in saying that the bakes are like so much faster than what they were before um, we've got this new bevel shader Okay, so for us plasticity users and hard surface modelers and blender and whatnot, this bevel shader is just phenomenal. Uh, we're going to go into a bit of a dive with that today. Um, and what's cool about this bevel shader is it's a little bit like the one that's in Blender, uh, which you can use in Cycles. But with this one, you can actually bake the bevel shader directly into your low poly normals. So, look. I made this little sort of um, Henry the Hoover knockoff in plasticity. Um, as you can see, I have put no bevels in here whatsoever. So look at the shape of this. It's all just hard edges. And if we go over to Blender, we can see it's the same. And what I've done is I've UV'd it. Okay, you can see my UV map, very simple, just marking sharp edges and marking them as seams. Um, if we look at my UV map, uh, there's uh, actually two UV maps, one for the uh, top part um, and the little bits and one for the bottom part. And then I've given different parts, different materials up here so that we can use the bevel shader in Marmoset to drive that. So let's go into Marmoset and have a look at what we've got here. Okay, so I've added a couple of colors and a roughness map just for looking cool and as we can see these bevels are only on here but this is not a different mesh from the one that I just showed you so these bevels are all happening in real time so the way to set this up is you import your mesh okay I've already done this so I'm not going to do it again you import your mesh I've got Henry here Henry the Hoover and we've got all of these different parts and they've all got different materials so you go into render mode and there's three render modes here so up here in render you've got I'm in ray tracing mode if I go back into raster you will see that this is all um, hard edges okay if I go into ray tracing mode you can see my bevels again okay so what you'll need to do is on any particular material you go into the surface over here and you hit this little triangle and you can change it from normal map to bevel okay and then um, right now we're looking at the rims down here okay this might not be a good one let's look at the body okay so you can see that bevel there if I turn this off to normals you'll go see I've got that hard edge there so this is really amazing because you don't need to fill it these in inside of um, your other software anymore. Sometimes it's not updating straight away, so I'll just drag that body texture back onto there. And we'll update the bevel width. And we can make it quite fat. And you'll see as I move the lighting around, 
you can see I can move this on the fly. Now, this is all in real time in ray tracing mode. This isn't baking the normals, however. So what we can do is we can actually bring a baker into our scene, the little loaf of bread up here. So I'll just click on scene and hit the baker. Baker output path does not exist. I'm just going to put it in this Henry the Hoover. We're going to save this. And I'll just call it um, Hoover. Okay. And then we can bring all of Henry under the high poly because this is the one with the uh, bevel shader set up and it'll disappear because high poly is hidden. Okay. And then we're going to just bring in our model again. So we're going to go import Henry FBX. Okay and he'll go in here and I'm just going to quickly drag him under low actually we'll just check these okay so what we want to do is we want to change these uh, low poly ones all over to normal map so we'll quickly do that so so we're going to change this body we're going to change that to normals okay and you'll see our normals are gone okay and we just need to do these one by one Okay, so I've changed the shader back for all of those. Okay, and then we just go into our bake project and we're going to hit preview material. And it's gone a bit funny. Okay, so this is a little bit of troubleshooting. So the reason that it's all janky, <laughs> and this is quite funny, it's got the kind of smiley face there, which is just completely random and out of thing. The reason it's gone funny is because I forgot to change this bake project. Uh, as a multiple texture set so this should rebake now fingers crossed um, and that's all baked so this is the low poly now so now that we've got those bevels in the high poly mode um, we can turn off our ray tracing and go back into raster and we've got our bevels baked in there right you can see like seams and things like that i did very a quick uv job on this so now we've actually got like this low poly model and if we go and click on our low you'll be able to see if i turn the cage opacity up this is actually a low poly model and that's really great we can even change the offset slightly okay and turn our capacity and then let's uh you can rebake it okay and it's just going to bake all the maps again and look at this here this is just amazing so this is all if we go and look at uh plasticity and go around the back here this is just super simple all right so going back in here you can see we've got these bevels here we've got this nice round bevel as I move the lighting around it hits it perfectly and then if you want to adjust your bevels we've got each one assigned to each material so I can go to uh, body high okay and we can have a look at that and we can just drag the bevel width okay and it's going to bake the maps again and you'll see this should update on the fly if it doesn't we just drag it over alrighty and we can just make that um, go to body high again and we can make that really fat and it just happened instantly just like that and we're, we're looking at our low poly look our high poly is hidden now this is our high poly so um, if we go to our low poly off and turn our high poly on you can see because we're not in ray tracing mode anymore you can see that it's all flat and janky so this is just super amazing and the fact that it's baking these textures on the fly i think is just fantastic so look just a quick video from me today guys but um don't you just think that's amazing tell me what you think there's so many other features to this marmoset tool bag uh, beta i might do another video on something else um like udims or something but um tell me what you think because i think this is just amazing okay so we've got all of our actually let's bake our ambient occlusion let's just do one more thing so we've got our bake project let's turn our ambient occlusion on 
and we'll just see this whole inside of the model should update so we're baking 10 different maps and then you can obviously because I've used just uh, two texture maps for this um, we can then um, there we go that's our ambient occlusion on so um, these little shadowy bits should all be nicely done and let's turn our ray tracing back on fantastic yeah so like comment subscribe let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one choose